welcome all welcome in another important video in our react js course i hope you all are doing great so up to this point we have created one react js project where we have used webpack to bundle our react js code so now we have index.js file in which we are creating one heading tag and we are trying to load that heading tag inside our html file after running start command webpack is creating one bundled file inside of our dist folder and if we open our index html file we can see those changes so this is working completely fine but if you look at the process every time when we run npm start command webpack is generating new bundled file and to see the changes we'll have to refresh our browser page each time so this is completely manual process going forward this will consume a lot of time so we have to find some automated solution for this right so luckily we have solution and solution is webpack dev server so if i go inside of npm js so here you will get this webpack dev server and this is basically if you see the description here they have mentioned that webpack is development server that provides live reloading so as soon as you save something in your file webpack will automatically detect changes and it will auto refresh page in the browser which will certainly help us while developing right so let's install this webpack dev server as a dev dependency it will start installing let's wait for a while okay so now our installation is done okay so now let's go back inside package.json file and here we will need to add one more script to start our project as a dev server to start our project in development server if i go back inside of documentation here they have mentioned some commands and they also gave an example how to start webpack as a server so let's use the same syntax so i'm going to use i'm going to copy this i'm going to copy this name and then paste it inside of dev script okay and i know if i run if i run dev so as you can see our project started in development mode and by default it occupies port number 8080 now if i open this port number now if i open this url inside of browser let's see what we get so currently we are not getting any output because we didn't mention any configurations for this development server and if i see inside console as well they are giving me the same error they are giving me 404 that is not found error okay so now we'll have to write configuration file in order to make this development server working so let's see how we can write that if i go inside the documentation of the config here you will get a separate article about dev server so let's go inside of that and as you can see the very first line itself suggests us to use webpack dev server package and here's the configurations so simply copy this and let's go inside webpack configs so we'll have to include this dev server and then we have to provide our output directory let's not pass any extra properties as of now because it will make even more harder for us to understand this we'll just keep two properties inside dev server first is static another one is port static property will hold path of our distributed directory where we have bundled js file and index.html file and we'll we are just passing port number so so whichever the react js project you will see they are using 300 port you can use any port number according to your convenience so if i run this again and if i open this address so as you can see here we got our exact output so now let me minimize this and if i change something in our code let me change this message let's change hello world by god is great 
and if I save this so as you can see our browser window automatically got refreshed and we can see the latest changes inside of browsers so this process will certainly help us save our time to refresh page manually so now if I go back inside of documentation inside of documentation you will get to see there are a lot of other properties which you can make use and get more information about dev server so here we have progress property uh, as they have mentioned in the documentation this this is command line argument for our webpack dev server command so we have to pass this inside of package.json let's put progress we just have to pass this progress as a flag or as a parameter whatever that whatever you can call it if i run npm run dev command so we can observe that there is a percentage of bundle so now this will give us an information about how much time how much percentage of code is already got bundled and how much time it will it take to see the changes because currently we have just one js file but going forward we will be having a lot of js files which will take relatively more time to compile and bundle in that case this progress information will certainly help us understanding how much time will it take more right all right so we just saw how to start our react.js project and development server okay so you can definitely try out all these properties i think that's it for this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye